But I'm popping like a Kardashian. Huh, pretty and ratchet. Pretty and ratchet. Pretty. Hi guys! Welcome to my channel, bitches. I'm back at it again. It's Lonnie motherfucking good, you don't know. If it's your first time here, then welcome! Welcome to the gang. And if you are a returning subscriber, then I'll fuck with you heavy. Um, I just want to say something real quick. I've seen a couple people be like, I saw one comment the other day. Someone said, oh my god, I clicked on her videos because I thought she was pretty. But then I heard her swearing and I was like, ew. Like, some people have a problem with me swearing. If you don't like the fact that I swear, then leave. Stage left, bitch. Stage left, bitch. Do you get it? I'm not gonna fucking change for you, bitch. This is who I am. If you want boring ass fucking YouTubers, there's loads of them in the motherfucking UK, there's loads of them in the fucking US, there's loads of them in the fucking world, all right? Boring ass bitches, there's loads of them. Go look for their fucking channels. This isn't the channel for you, bitch. Cause at this yeah! channel, you're still <laughs> Cool, so guys, I saw this video trending, and obviously it's about all the expenses, all the financial decisions. Oh, I'm a bit hot. Oh yeah, I wanna say something. Side note, my tits are covered. Ah! <laughs> I always see people be like, oh my God, your tits are always out. Yes, my tits are always out, but sometimes, you know, I want you to miss them. So today they're covered so that you miss them. And then maybe in the next video, they'll be out and you can enjoy them. <laughs> but I want you to miss them a little bit, so I'm going to wear this sexy crap top, yes, bitch. So anyway, so the worst financial decisions I've ever made, bitch, I've made a lot. Sis, sis, on a reals, if I could, if I could, if I could have all the money I've wasted back, oh, I could have like 25 grand, fam. On a rose, it's a bit sad. Let's have a moment of silence. Like 10 seconds, yeah, for Lani's money. 10 seconds of silence for Lani's money. That's it, bitch. That's it, that's all I can do. I can't stay quiet for too long, bitch. No, 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 no! Oh, shit, put my fucking camera in there. Okay, so guys, let's start from the motherfucking top! So, let me just say something. Instagram is fucking fake. Instagram is a fake fucking world. Instagram will make you want things. Oh, Simba. Let's put Simba in the video. Simba! <laughs> this was a good purchase. Okay, so there are there are things on Instagram that you will see and you're gonna be gassed on them and you're gonna be like, oh my god, I want them! She looks so hot, she looks so sexy, she looks so lit, she looks so expensive, she looks so plush. And you're like, I wanna look like a rich bitch, I'm gonna save up and buy that. And then sis, you're gonna fucking regret it. You're gonna fucking regret it. Let's start, start. I just hope that you guys actually learn from this video. That's actually the point of the video. Obviously laugh at me, I want you guys to laugh at me. I want you guys to fucking slander me and say, you're a fucking stupid bitch and all that shit. And it's like, oh, I already know I'm a stupid bitch, so it's calm. But then I also want you guys to learn from this video and not make the same mistakes I've made and do better by me. And if you're gonna treat yourself, treat yourself better than I did, you understand? Okay. <laughs> okay, so, what should we start with, Simba? Let's start with these fucking motherfucking Louboutins. <sighs> so I bought these, I think they were about six bills, 550, something like that. 550, six bills. Um, I can't fucking walk in them. <laughs> I wore them on my birthday. I couldn't fucking walk. I almost broke my fucking, my fucking, um, my fucking ankle. I almost fucking snapped my ankle in half. Can't fucking walk in them. They, look, look at that shit. Look. This is a waste of money. And you know what? Because I'm a bit fat, they don't actually look even good in pictures. You never see me. You have never seen me take a picture on my fucking Instagram in these lubes. Ever. I should sell them. Who wants to buy them? DM me. Good price. I should sell these fucking shoes. I can't fucking walk in them. I can't fucking walk in them. They're awful. They're awful. Literally, they're so fucking awful and they just don't suit me. Jeans, whatever, no. If I had, I would use them in pictures more if I had the flat ones. 
Um, but I've I've tried those on too. They are fucking painful. Oh Jesus! And knowing me, I'll break my ankle. I'll break my ankle. I, I hope I've inserted the video of me walking. I really do want to show you lot that I can't fucking walk, guys. I cannot walk in these motherfucking shoes. I'm gonna show you how I walk in my boobs. Yeah, you're actually all right. Woo. Woo. But you have to concentrate bears, so it basically, they're just not, they're, you, it's, you can never wait on a night out. It'll probably have to be di for dinner, and you probably fall, because I was really concentrating. Okay. So that was a waste of money. That was a waste of money. Money down the motherfucking drain. What do you think of, what do you think of that, Simba? You're with the nails. I know, baby. Oh my god, so let's let's continue with shoes But they're not the most painful shoes actually are they no they're not they're not let me tell you the most Oh Jesus I actually do you know what I, I'm actually really trying to figure out which the one on the floor which ones are more painful actually fuck it It's the wire cells These motherfucking wire cells yeah, let me put my fucking arm in them so you, you can see these motherfucking wire cells. I wanted these shoes so bad. I wanted them so bad. So I made sure I fucking got them. Do you understand? These shoes cost £850. These shoes are fucking painful. However, if you're a skinny bitch and you've got skinny feet, they wouldn't they won't be as painful. But for people like me who are wedged, people like me who are obese, they just don't. They just don't. Sis, they just don't. So basically, with with me, yeah, I'm I'm, I'm obviously thick, innit? So with me. Um, I tried to stretch this lever, but then some, I work in a, for a fashion brand, so they told me when because I, I was trying to wear them, break them in at work, and they said to me, Lani, you can't stretch these out, and I said, why? Why can't you stretch them out? And she goes, basically, when they put this shiny shit on lever, it won't stretch out. So what I need to do is I need to figure out a way to get this shiny shit off. Do I use fire? I need to figure out a way to get the shiny thing that sealed the shoe in off so that I can stretch the fucking shoe so I can wear my wire cells. I never get to wear my shoes. I never get to wear my shoes, guys. And I love these shoes. Fuck the fucking lubes. They're fucking a shit shoes. I don't like them. I love these shoes. I love these shoes. And I was told before I bought them, don't buy them, they'll hurt you. I still bought them because I thought they're gorgeous and I never wear them, fam. I wear them to take pictures. We move. Giuseppe's fucking Giuseppe's fucking beautiful if you ever see a shoe that looks like Lani think about me me and my fucking tiara me as a princess me extra I'm extra as fuck look at that this is me in a shoe if you ever thought what shoe would Lani like this is me in a shoe however again I've got fat feet so you see this bit this is very painful. However, out of all of them, I feel like I could str The others don't really have a lot of, um, I would have to really break the others in and the other one, I, would, I don't, the YSL, I, I don't know if I have, there's any hope. But this shoe, I do think if I wore it long enough, I could stretch this. There's nothing, it's, it's, it's suede. It's suede. So I just need to be bothered. I wonder what this would look nice in though. A little cool denim skirt. Who knows? I never wear them. I never fucking wear them. But they're kind of a timeless shoe. They're just a, a nude shoe, a nude sandal with diamonds in them. So I'm never gonna sell those. I'm never gonna, I'm going to, I, after this video, I'm gonna try and break those shoes in. Oh my God. Babes. Simba, I'm gonna have to put you down, my, my darling. Put you down, sit there. You right, darling? Simba's over there. This is a bit emotional for me. These shoes, how much were these shoes? Like 1.6K, something like that. They're always in my fucking room. They're almost like a piece of artwork. Don't fucking wear them, they hurt. My boss actually got them first. And then, but my boss is rich, unlike me. I'm not rich, I'm okay. 
But they're so beautiful. Oh my, oh my god. I never wear them. You, you want me to show you that? This is for real. I don't wear these shoes. Look at the bottom. Look at the fucking bottom of the fucking shoe. Look at these. Oh, fucking hell. If you could make love to a shoe, bruv. If you could make love to a shoe. Oh, Jesus. This is the type. The, you know when you say my type? This is my type. I want a nigga to wife me. If a nigga looked like this, he could have me. But naked and all fours. Honestly, baby. You're so hot, baby. I love you. I love you, baby. So yeah, this this shoe, I, I love this shoe. And let me keep it 100% true, they hurt. And it, it's not really, I have, I think the main thing I'm, I'm, I'm gathering is I shouldn't buy shoes because I have fat feet. So I should actually go for shoes that are like white and I always go for these fashion shoes and then I can't even fucking wear them because of my fat feet. So I even need to lose weight. But even when I was skinny, do you know when I was skinny? Because I used to be a size eight. When I was skinny, I still had fat feet. I have wide feet. That's just my genetics. So unless I have liposuction on my on my feet, um, I, I, I'm pissed. I, I can't enjoy designer shoes. So I just feel like I need I need to hire somebody to break shoes in for me. This is this is what I need. This is what I fucking need. So apparently, guys, you can have surgery on your feet liposuction on your feet so this is the only route for me for girls like me surgery on our feet so basically i'm i'm looking into this i'm looking into this i'm going under the knife i'm gonna get skinny feet so that i can wear my shoes yes bitch but basically this fucking shoe this motherfucking shoe never getting rid of it never motherfucking getting rid of it Oh look, this is the killer book. <laughs> it is art. I'm going, I swear, I'm not selling this shoe for shit. I will have this shoe in 10 years. I will have this shoe in 20 years. This is such a beautiful shoe. And it's just a piece of art in there in my room. Okay, this is a semi waste of money. This bag. How much is this bag? 1.6, 1.7. Look at that. Fucking, the fucking, what is this? Um, I wish I got it in black, basically. That's the, actually the truth. I don't know, do you know what I learned? And this is actually, when I said I want you guys to learn from me, I want you to take tips from me. So for instance, if you are somebody with wide feet, maybe don't waste your money on designer shoes. Um, if you want us done on the gram, um, go for a cheap, no, you can't really get a cheap pair of designer shoes, but you know, maybe just go for the standard pointy lubes and take pictures in them. Um, and that's like, it's, it's very difficult because it, it that's that's my point like it's like I have shoes that I can stunt in on Instagram but I can't wear them in real life like it's, it's that's sad so for me I would just like you know screw it on the on the shoes and uh, maybe try it in because I don't have skinny this is if you you're like me and you've got wide feet or you're a thick bitch or you're a fat bitch like but if you are some or, or maybe try trainers because I don't have any designer trainers and I want some Chanel's and I'm definitely gonna get some because I deserve it bitch oh baby you sit there baby because I, I deserve it but um in addition to that what I've learned now this Givenchy bag isn't any any better than my Gucci. It's not better. They are both pretty bags, but I use my Gucci. Why? Because it's a smaller bag. I also have a Balenciaga bag, which I use a lot. I used to have a Versace bag, which I used a lot, but get the, the common thing is that they were small bags. In my experience, smaller bags get used more than big handbags. They just do. If you want to actually use your items, my only, unless you're really rich. If you're really rich, you, you enjoy. Enjoy, do what the fuck you want. But if you're not somebody who's got a lot of money and you want to treat yourself for your birthday, don't waste your money on a big bag. You, do you know what I mean? If you're like me, because I'm into like handbags and stuff, if you really want to treat yourself to a treat yourself to design a bag, then get a small thing. Like right now, I am I have spent months, months trying to um, treat myself to a new bag. Um, another tip I want to give you, when you buy a, a, a brand that's a brand that's on trend, for instance, remember when Fendi was everywhere? 
if you had a Fendi bag now, not that you wouldn't use it, but you would feel like, oh, everyone's moved to Dior now. It, it, it gets like that. So sometimes stay with the classics. If you've saved enough and you've saved and you've saved and you really want to treat yourself, it's your 21st birthday, it's your 25th birthday, it's your 30th, it's your, what's another big number? It's your 40th, it's your 50th. Buy yourself a classic bag. I bought myself a, I would, I would, yeah, buy yourself a classic bag. So like sh the Chanel's, the YSL's, the Gucci, um, what else is classic, classic? Did I say LV? Yeah, LV, they're, they're, they're like classic, they never got out of style type of thing. Um, I bought myself, I bought my mum a LV and a Gucci bag for her birthday. So, it's cause they're safe. Go for the safe brands, they don't, Re they don't go out of fashion too tough, do you know what I mean? They are, don't get me wrong, right now Dior is trendier than other brands, but there are some brands that are just stay always. Okay, okay, so we've done the boring shit. What else have I wasted my money on? Okay, so I've definitely wasted my money on niggas, if we're, if we're gonna go there. I've definitely wasted my money on men. So for instance, uh, my first ever relationship, I spent I spend dumb money on him, like I used to like, um, like he would want, um, I think I bought him lubes one time, um, I contributed to us, I contributed some money for us going on holiday, um, I also bought my other boyfriend when I was older, Giuseppe's, Giuseppe's were in at the time, um, I will spend a grand on, a, on my boyfriend's birthday, I'm not saying it's a waste of money, but it is silly because are these boys with me now? No, they're not. Do you, do you understand what I'm saying? Like, so sometimes it's, it is a little bit like, it is, it is a little bit like you could save that money. Um. Also, some of this money, if you really think about it, like I could have invested it, I could have had a mortgage earlier. Like I'm only getting a mortgage. I haven't even got the keys yet, but I literally only was approved for a mortgage in January. Um, we're still waiting for the keys. It, it takes a long process, especially with Corona. It's even motherfucking longer. We're just waiting, me and my sister, because we bought it together. But I could have probably been bought a mortgage two, three years ago if I wasn't buying all this other shit. But I buy all this other shit and that is sad. You don't want to be somebody who's all you've got is loads of nice shoes and all you've got is loads of nice bags and no, loads of nice wigs. But uh, you don't have nothing to show for it. You don't have a house, you don't have a mortgage, you don't have a car, you're just a fucking dickhead, basically. So learn from my mistakes, sis. I'm not saying don't treat yourself. Treat yourself to one pair of shoes, one little nice handbag, save for that mortgage. Do you get it? Don't spend too much money on this niggas because I, I, I really been there. Like I've really been spending, like it's a dickhead thing. Every time I've got a nigga, Valentine's Day, fucking birthday, fucking, um, uh, um, fucking Father's Day, let's say he's a dad, I want to spend three bills on him. What's the, what, that's stupid. That's stupid. Even more, like birthday, definitely more, but it's, that's stupid. Don't do that. Um... I'm just a sucker for love, I swear to God. If I get into a relationship, I can just get finessed. Like, I could genuinely, like, take out a card in a nigga's name. That, that's just me. Like, I'm such a sucker for love. But I don't fall in love easily, which is a good thing. I fall in love, like, once in a blue moon. Like, once every five years, I'll fall in love with someone, so. Um, you guys just learn from my fucking mistakes. Do better than Lani. Do better. <laughs> it's one time I went on holiday to America. I had no business going to America to see a boy. Um, and I, I, I usually wouldn't buy the ticket, but I bought the ticket because he bought the ticket first and I just didn't go on the plane. I just didn't want to go. The flight was too long because it was a changeover flight. Like I had to um, change over in a different state and it was 16 hours. So I basically bought myself a ticket. He said he would reimburse me and he never did. And I ended up going to America and he ended up strangling me. So that was a waste of fucking money. And then I never spoke to him again because he strangled me. So basically, I want the £500 I spent on that flight fucking back as well. Do you know what I mean? Um, um, I've loaned... I've loaned exes money before. I think I, I loaned one of my exes like a grand. Never fucking got that back. Hear what I'm saying to you. <laughs> Just do better than Auntie Lani. <laughs> but you know what I mean? We move, innit? I'm still fucking winning, bitch. I'm still motherfucking winning, bitch. We move. So, guys, thank Hey, guys. Okay, so, basically, I forgot a certain bit. Sorry, I'm out of breath. I forgot a certain bit in the last video. Hence why I'm back um, with a different fucking top. But basically, um, 
One of the things I actually wasted my money on was one time I went to, like I went abroad. I hired a villa, I paid for me and my sister's flight, and the sole purpose of the trip was to go take pictures for Instagram. So I could look like the baddest bee for a week on Instagram. So everyone in the fucking, fucking London could fucking hate on how sick I looked abroad. It was early as well, it was like early April, kind of like when people were having started really going away. So I could just stunt on all these hoes that I'm away enjoying. I'm gonna put a couple pictures up so you, if you if you followed me before or you've seen my Instagram, you might be like, swear down, this is what, why you went there. We were literally there a day. We were there for one day. The sole purpose of the trip was to go take pictures. My sister literally got on a flight for me. Can you imagine, she got on a flight for me. Obviously I paid for it, but she got on a flight for me just to take pictures. But it was actually kind of fun. We like, walked around, we like, um, we like searched the area, we like, um, we like, went sightseeing a little bit, um, just early in the morning and then we spent the rest of the day taking pictures. We took pictures for like eight hours and the next day we came home. But I had to book the villa for three days, so I, it was one day that we spent taking pictures, but I had to book the villa for the night we got there, so we got there at night, we slept that night, then the day of the pictures and then the morning, like, was it? Yeah, they wouldn't let me do two nights, so I had to pay for three nights and two, two flights and two visas. Can you fucking believe it? Because it, the country I went to wasn't um, in the EU. So yeah, I went fucking abroad to take fucking pictures for Instagram. But I fucking killed it though, I'm not gonna lie to you. But I'm just saying I have wasted my money on some stupid shit. I've been a stupid bitch. Don't be a stupid bitch like me. But I, do, I say that, but I would probably do it again. If you have the money, the money why not? <laughs> Thank you so much for watching for my watching my video and i'm gonna be posting a lot more motherfucking videos okay bye now i'm popping like a kardashian huh. pretty and